Hi guys, welcome to Time Out with Praise. My name is Praise Shagai, your amazing and beautiful host with the sauce, live ginger and everything. I know you can see me and it's my greatest delight that you can see me because I've always wanted this. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So, as you know, my name is Praise Shagai. And welcome to episode one, season two. Season two, season one was epic with 35 episodes. I don't know how I did that, but I got that done. And yes, amazing episodes, every, every episode. So now I'm saying welcome back. And Happy New Year, because many of you have not seen me this year, you've not heard my voice this year, and I'm back for you, live and direct. And I know that you can see my amazing guests. I know you can see my amazing guests. My amazing guest, his name is Paul Akbar. Most times on my episodes, I always want people who I know very well, and he's one of my friends. We met when um, we both served um, as youth coppers in you know Nigeria, you are listening from any part of the world. Nigeria, we have one year after um, university to serve our country. So we met then in Lagos, and it has been amazing. We've been friends, and he's, I always call him my personal lawyer. He's the one that reads my documents. If I, I get stuck, I'm like, oh God, read this document. Am I getting a good deal? And he's always there to say. Praise out with I'm like, I'm, I have not blown yet, oh, you say don't worry, you will blow. So, my amazing friend, my lawyer, Kolakpo, welcome! Thank you very much, thank you very much. Okay, so just give us a little intro, let somebody who doesn't know you have an idea of who you are. Okay, my name is Kolakpo, uh, I'm a lawyer, I practice in Lagos. Uh, my practice is centered around business, uh, business advisory and um, trade um, advice generally. Um, what else? That's it, basically. Are you married with children? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm certainly not married with children. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So, to everyone listening, happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. To all the couples, married, dating, and to the bullets. <laughs> to the bullets, sorry, oh. <laughs> but happy Valentine's Day to you too. Okay, so our topic for today is very, very interesting. I always come with topics that are interesting because, like I say, my podcast is relatable. So it's things you talk about, things you see every day. So myself and Uncle Akbo, we were talking, and I'm like, guy, she, you know, love is not enough. Because people feel like, when you love this person, ah, everything between you and them is going to be great. Hmm, first of all, everyone who knows me knows I'm not a lover girl. I'm a woman of war. I may fight. I may win that both <laughs> I'm not lovey-dovey or anything. I feel like... If, when you are bringing love here, I'm thinking of something else that, okay, it's not all about love. So yes, we are in this space where we are saying, love is not enough. So what do you think, like, what do you think about this topic? When you, call up to you now, mm -hmm. when you hear love is not enough, like, what do you think about, like, what's the, what comes to mind? Okay, uh, yes, for me, what comes to mind when I hear love is not enough? I really think it is not enough. That's what comes to my mind. Um... I mean, it depends on how you want to look at it. It depends on your perspective. But generally, I feel like as adults, our needs, our needs are plenty. Mm -hmm. So just one thing, love, cannot satisfy everything. Yeah. Um, there is money, there is compatibility, there is, um, I mean, values, there is ambition, there is, I mean, a lot of other stuff. So it just depends on um, the individual, really. But I think that because we are adults and because we are, our relationship is pretty complex, yeah. it is hard for us to have just one thing that's going to fit all you mm. get. So love is great, love is amazing, but it doesn't always answer all of the questions. Yes, like he said, love is great, love is amazing. Before you people say, hey, Prince is telling you people not to love. Please, oh, love, love with all your heart. Love is beautiful. 
because why I'm saying love is not enough as a person is because I have seen people who cry at the altar. I have seen people who cried when they were proposed to. And six months down the line after marriage, they are saying, I cannot stay with this person. And I'm in that place of shock. Like, but you say you love this person. So why is it so difficult to live with them? Why is it so difficult to actually stay with them? Like, are you saying the love you have for this person is not enough now? Me, I've always known love is not enough. If somebody says they love me, I'm, I'm thinking of 10 things already. Do I like you as a person? Do I like your physical looks? Do, I, do, do we share the same values? Because I can't say, oh, <laughs> me, I'm a very, like, I'm strict in a kind of way, will I say. I can't say I believe in something, and I'm not saying we must believe in the same things, mm -hmm. but there are just some values that I have that mm -hmm. if somebody tells me that mm -hmm. I love you and you don't believe in that thing, please, mm -hmm. good day. Absolutely. Some people from their status, the status they post alone, I've already concluded that I can never, exactly. ever Exactly. this person exactly. because I'm not like it does this person even think we're all exactly. like is this what you want to teach your children exactly. you have you only told me you love me I'm already taking care of children exactly. <laughs> and I think it's of children yeah. I've yeah. already thought about how you will raise a child mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. I feel like more persons mm -hmm. should think beyond love mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yes I mean I entirely agree with that and, and I would say that to that extent to the extent of simple things like what you post on your status um, yeah it's, it tells me something about you. And I mean, I, I don't think anybody, anybody's trying to say that you have to be perfect or you have to behave in certain ways. Um, the truth about life is we are different people. Mm. Yeah? And understanding that difference and working together is what makes us like um, walk, uh, move forward. Yeah. Um, so, because I mean, was in this generation, we, we tend to preach that you should, do, you should be yourself. And mm. truly, you should be yourself, which is good. But there is no problem with the fact that you being yourself is not good for me does not mean you're a bad person and does not mean I'm a bad person either. It is not just Perfect. good for me and that's to be respected. Yeah. Um, so while doing yourself, while being yourself, while doing whatever you want to do, I may not like it. Some other person will like it and that's good. Do you understand? So I feel like um, the mistake oftentimes that we make sometimes is because we want to be good for everybody and it is not possible. That's all. And the earlier you wake up, you realize that in your life the better some of us it took us entering plenty failed relationship for you we that this person is a good person we are not just working with. and this is what it is i totally agree with yeah. you yeah. i was having a conversation with my mom and my younger sister i was it day before yesterday or monday some days mm -hmm. back and then i my younger sister was talking about somebody she was actually talking about my ex mm -hmm. and she was like oh she's still friends with my ex and my mom was like she doesn't know why she's still friends with him and i'm like mommy please mm -hmm. She can be friends with anybody she wants. First, yeah. And I said, why I'm, I'm saying that is because because two persons are not compatible doesn't make one of them evil. Evil, exactly. exactly. Two good persons mm -hmm. might not just be able to stay what? together. Yeah. Yes. There are things that they don't agree on mm -hmm. yes. that would not make them compatible. Yes. 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 Doesn't mean one is evil. Mm -hmm. So I was like, mm -hmm. she has a right to still be friends with yes. him. Like, it's not evil, it's just that both of us, just didn't work. we just didn't work yes. out. And most persons need to realize this mm -hmm. because in that place you realize it still comes to the point of love is not enough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, in that place I loved this person, person yeah. this person loved me mm -hmm. but it was beyond just loving, loving I knew that hey, if I'm just doing this because of love mm -hmm. we will get to that point where it will not be like oh didn't you people know before, before how come yeah. after three months <laughs> exactly. you are not saying you can't do exactly. it anymore exactly. how come after one year exactly. I know of two persons they dated for over eight years mm. their marriage did not last two years wow and I was in that place thinking alone. I sat and was thinking that you dated for eight years. In that eight years, what were you guys doing? That's a question. Mm -hmm. What were you doing? What were you doing in that eight years that you didn't realize that you people could not work together? So, in as much as we love people, we want to travel the world with them because we love them right now, you want to have kids for them, because you just want everything with them. But are we thinking about, are we thinking about how this person spends money? <laughs> Some people, eh, if you like give them your life savings, they are going to finish it. 
are you thinking about if this person know, is right. industrious? Yeah, I know, right. I know. Are you thinking about if this person is ambitious? Mm -hmm. Is this person willing to work? Mm -hmm. Is this person willing to fight mm -hmm. with you? Mm -hmm. People say, oh, you can start small. And I agree. Exactly. I'm not against starting small. But I'm like, even though we say you can start small, you still know the person that looks like they want to actually fight to mm -hmm. have things. Mm -hmm. There are some persons, they are just small minded Certainly. and they don't want to go from there. Mm. I heard somebody talking, I bet someone was like, she just knows that this guy, he does, he feels comfortable being little. Mm. And I was just like, hey, imagine you're not saying, I love this guy in this moment, I'm going to marry that kind of person. Mm. So after a while, you will now realize that, hey, this guy does not want to, he does not want to be, get a land, he does not want to invest. Know, right? It is then you're not know, saying, man, I can't live with him. In as much as you are deeply in love with a person, think of the other things, the other values, values like you yeah. said, that are important to yeah. both of you. Yeah. Yeah. If yeah. this person does not have those values, yeah. run for your life. I am saying it, run for your life. Yeah. See. I understand. I understand. Said, <laughs> Love is not enough, baby. <laughs> come to me, Molowo. I think I'm not saying you should go for the money, mm -hmm. but I'm saying that love is not going to be enough. There will mm -hmm. be other things Certainly. like there will be maggie that yeah, you have to right. put into that yeah, food. Right. There will be seasoning that you have to put into that relationship, yeah. that love, yeah. to make it actually work and mm -hmm. to give you that sense of yes, yeah, yeah, this is yeah. what I, I want. want. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely, I agree with you. Yes, I mean, I would just, I just add a little to that, like flowing from what I had said earlier, to the to the extent that um, I will say it again, the fact that somebody wants something that you don't want does not mean they are bad, they are bad, or mm. they are not, they are not good people. Mm. So, give for instance, let us let us start with this one of um, wanting to be small and wanting to be big. I think all that in life, yeah. There are some people that just want the basics. Mm. Yeah? Um, they just want the basics. They want to be able to feed their kids, send mm. their kids to good schools, live in comfortable environments, drive a car or two, and they're fine. And I think that is okay. There is really, really no problem with that. Yeah. But some of us want more. Some of us want to have jets, some of us want to have houses in different places. And that is also okay. okay. So yeah. I feel like um, wanting to like relate or date somebody and even marry somebody. You have to be able to look at these things. Yeah. So, for instance, I may, for instance, just want a basic life. And my wife or my girlfriend wants something more. Um, can I cope with her wanting more? Yes. If I can, then there is a, there's really no problem. Because, I mean, we, we have high flying women right now that are happily married. Mm -hmm. and they are doing well with their lives. Mm -hmm. Their husbands are like maybe doctors in some random hospital. And you, 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 yeah. do you have one? Yes. Do you like th yeah. That is why I liked what you said. And mm -hmm. that's why I'm interrupting. Mm -hmm. You said if you are willing to cope, cope with that, do you yeah. know there are men that are not so, willing so to cope I mean, with women no doubt, trying to no be doubt. bigger? No, no, no doubt. So there are men that will tell you that I only went to so 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 my wife shouldn't go beyond that. Mm -hmm. And these are ambitious women yeah, right. sitting under a man because yeah, a right. man does. Yeah. When this man now decides that she can no longer stay with that man because she wants more for her life, people say, Ah, it's a problem. Oh yes, yeah. no, no, no. it's because she wants to be alone mm -hmm. so that she can prostitute. Oh, but yeah. did you did you even mm -hmm. ask to know what made her to leave that man? Yeah, right. Do yeah. you know? Yeah. And you see some women, after they leave marriages, relationships, they become better. Certainly. They become better. Certainly. People are like, is it that a man is sponsored? Is it that she now has the right to her life? Mm, yeah. Is it that yeah. she now has control over yeah. what she yeah. can do? Yeah. Yeah. Is it that nobody is trying to tell her she can't be more? Yeah. Yeah. Is it that yeah. she can now tell herself, I can do this without yeah. listening to a man telling her that you can't go beyond yeah. this whole yeah. yeah. Absolutely, I agree with you, Chris. Yes, yeah, I agree with you. because yeah. 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 if the man is willing, mm -hmm. so some are not even willing, yeah. like you yeah. said. Yeah, yeah. If you're not, I mean, just let the woman fly. And the truth is, there's always somebody for you. So if this one that you like and wants to fly does not fit into your, your plan, let her go. You certainly find someone that wants basically the same thing. Do you understand? So, yeah. Period. Um, yes. Period. Like, like, life, is, life is not hard, actually. It's not hard. Period. You will get somebody that wants the same thing as you. Yeah. Because that was when I was telling somebody that I don't believe in soulmates. Mm. 
Sorry, I'm diverting, but I just no, have to say it. I don't believe in soulmate because some people believe that if you just miss that man that God created for you, you will never ever have any lover in life mm -hmm. again. And if you even, and then someone was telling me that even if you meet somebody after that person goes down, that, that person you meet. There will be something. I said, <laughs> my dear. But but look, I'm not praise though. I agree with you. But I would say that there are certain people that they're in our lives, yeah. Mm -hmm. If they leave, you find it, you may replace them, but it's gonna be a while. Same thing. So I so I just want to put that distinction. Yes. What you're saying. So I understand what you're saying as yes. for soulmate and stuff. But there are certain people that when if they leave your life now, really as adults, it's hard to start going back, start making new friends, new friends yeah, uh, and, uh, and all of those things. But there are certain there are still people that mm. they're part of your life. Yeah. If they leave you, you, you feel you, it. Yes, you may replace them after a while, wow. but you certainly feel it. Yes, but they need to know mm -hmm. that they are replaceable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> because this, some this people. Is the, uh, this is the stubborn way of talking about. <laughs> <laughs> this is the stubborn praise I'm talking about, and I agree with you. They I need guess. to know they are replaceable because yeah. some people believe that that they are that person's soulmate, and if they leave that person's life. That person's life is going to be ruined. Oh, no, no, My no. dear, if you leave that person's life, the person's life will not be ruined. I saw one quote somewhere, the person was like, you think that when you are no longer friends with me, that means my life will be destroyed. <laughs> like some people will almost be I telling know, right? you that. All my haters, yeah, this right. is your downfall. Yeah, right. Your haters don't have any downfall. <laughs> yeah, your right. haters, they do not yeah, have right. any downfall. Yeah, right. They will flourish. If you like, be looking for haters. It's you that will be there. <laughs> your haters are on top. I know, right. Because, and that is it. That's how yeah, some people right. believe that once I break up with that girl, mm -hmm. she does not know how her life will become. Me, that even if you are the one that is sponsoring her life, mm -hmm. you are the one paying her school fees. If you wake up with her, God will raise another helper. Because people feel like, oh, that is why some people are stuck in evil relationships. Yeah, right. You yeah. have heard some people that you tell them that break up with this person. Sorry, I didn't tell your girlfriend to break up with you. I didn't tell your girlfriend <laughs> to break up with you. <laughs> but sometimes you're just talking like, can't you leave this guy? Mm -hmm. And some people are like, I can't leave him. Maybe let's start for. Yeah, right. It's the one that is paying. It's the one that is paying. Uh, this one that is paying, okay. If that person leaves, if you leave that person, God will make a way. That is all I know. God is going to make a way. So don't let anybody think, show you that, oh, so you're not be there because you're, and that's what leads us back to the topic of love is not enough. Mm -hmm. You feel like, oh, because you love this person, you are there. I, I always tell my mommy something because you know our African parents yeah, right. they still have some some kind of mindset that we, we are trying to unlearn yeah, right. and you are just like mommy no because mommy sometimes we need Latin manage and I'm telling my mommy mommy I'm not managing she's like you know my share but truly if we enter into things with the mindset of let me manage are you going to manage for, for life? life? That's, 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 another, that's another point. Are you going to manage for life? That's another point. So you enter into this thing called marriage or relationship because you feel like, I love him. Hey, hey. I'm going to add this topic of genotype. Some persons will say, he's a mess, but I love him. Ah! If we get to a time when you have a sickle cell child, love yeah, will right. fade. Yeah, right. Yeah. Love will mm -hmm. fade. Yeah, right. You will see this person that used to look like the most handsome person in the world. The person will look like chimpanzee to you. Because <laughs> love has faded. Yeah, right. You are having yeah. sleepless nights. You are battling with a sick child. Yeah, right. Love will fade though. Exactly. You might be wondering that how do you even love yeah, this yeah, person? In the first place. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. why some of us uh, you would have dated somebody when you now look at ah! This is my ex. That's how it will be in your eyes. You're not mm -hmm. even wondering that. What did the person even tell me yeah, that right. time mm -hmm. that made me to even yeah, right. like them? Mm -hmm. Love is not enough. Mm -hmm. Every, you need to consider everything. Mm -hmm. Genotype, how they live, their habits. People forget. See, that's how they'll be like, it will change. Ha. Ah. Because you love him in that minute, you not believe that it's going to change an adult. An adult, you want to change an adult? Even kids, 
you have to flog, 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 or say, don't do that, don't do that again before they now decide to stop doing it. Yeah, right. A child even decides to mm. stop doing things. Mm. We are not talking about changing an adult. Mm. If the person doesn't decide to change, sorry, my dear, my dear, my dear, you will be there yeah. struggling to change a person that is not even willing to change. To change. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I would just, I would just add to that, and to the extent that, uh, you know, like, like, from starting from the beginning, we all, I mean, we agree that mm -hmm. love is not enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I feel like the place, what, what love does for us really is, it gives you the, it gives you the entry into people's life. Like they love you, they let you into their, into yeah. their lives. Um, whatever they do after, after you love them. So it largely depends on them, the decision they make. Yes. So what true. I feel like love, we should let love influence us. Mm. So give for instance, yeah. Um, I may not be a person who, who likes to go out a lot. Yeah. But I have a wife or a girlfriend who while we're dating she used to go out a lot, yeah? Yeah. And I mean I didn't have a problem with it and we stayed like that. And I still don't have a problem with it. We married, yes, we stay like that. But I feel like or let me, let me say it's vice versa. I have a wife. I have a wife that likes staying at home. I like going out. I used to go out. She doesn't have a problem with it. I used to do. I used to go out, have fun with my friends, and come back home. She's fine with it. I mean, yeah. she never complains to me. Mm -hmm. And of course, not like the relationship is toxic that she cannot talk to me. She tells me literally anything. Yeah? yeah. So I feel like at some point, if you if when you think about how they are sacrificing you wanting to have fun for them wanting to have you, you should think about that and also want to change for them a little. Yeah. Such that, um, so I go out every time I'm chilling with my friends. I could decide that this this Friday or this weekend I'm not even going anywhere. I have changed a little for her. Yeah. So certainly people do change, yeah. But mm -hmm. it has to be their decision. Do you know, they have they to, need decide. to decide. They have to decide to say. I mean, my my baby is not complaining, you know, but I just need to make the. If yeah. she would appreciate if I'm around, yeah. she doesn't have a problem with me going out. But if I try to stay with her today, she won't mind. She won't mind. So why don't I just give her that? Mm. Do you understand? I've changed for her. So really, people do change, but it has to be their decision. This, just to add to what you said about yes. people changing. Yes. Because if you if you have that hope that it will change, it will just, what it will if it doesn't yeah, decide yeah, to change? Yeah, yeah. Then you are not stuck here thinking that I thought it would change. change. Yeah. People don't just even change automatically. Like and that, that is when we now get into that space where we are now like, we thought love would be enough. Mm -hmm. We thought that mm -hmm. me loving this guy is mm -hmm. enough to change him. Yeah. Yeah. Me loving this guy is enough to just make us be there. That's mm -hmm. why some people, they think that will cause their relationship, it's, that will break the relationship or marriages when maybe they start having kids. Mm -hmm. yeah. Kids can come in between. Yeah. When yeah. you you say, this is how you should train the child. child. And this other person yeah. say, no, no <laughs> just be calm with him. You don't yeah. need to flog him. Yeah. But this one say, it is, that was how they trained us. Yeah. We, they flogged us and we learned. Yeah. Yeah. And the woman is like, yeah. I can't stay with this man yeah. because he keeps beating yeah. children and he doesn't yeah. know how to stay. Yeah. So, yeah. those things that you think would yeah. not matter because love is in our brain mm -hmm. are the things that now end up coming back mm -hmm. to on mm -hmm. us. Like, mm -hmm. this man does not know how to invest. Even if you tell him, let us buy this, and you tell him, we will buy it later, we will buy it later. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whereas, the lady is now investing her money and people will now be saying, ah, if you check the lady's account, it it's not their fault. Yeah, are, we, are we supposed to go into the ladies' guy to no, 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 please. <laughs> <laughs> because you guys have money, a lot of money, but let's let's do that. <laughs> but, but that's what I'm saying. Like that's yeah. why you should have the conversation. Yeah, before. yeah. I mean, I agree with you. So, yeah. as we are saying, love is not enough. We are saying have all the conversations Just, yeah, possible. Yeah. Know who this person is. Yeah. And we're not even saying that all of those conversations has to be. Yeah, let us sit down. down. Do you believe in this? No, no, no. By relaxing and opening yourself up to yourself, exam. you would, you would know that this yeah. person believes this, this person yeah. does not. And it's by, I feel like there's a lot that we we'll learn from people when we just listen to them talk. Do you understand? Like, maybe not necessarily what they even do, what what they say. See, what they write. Yeah, 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 yeah. I agree with you. Sorry to say, there was one time there was this um, rape allegation online, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then. 
So that was the time I knew some persons that I, would, I cannot have anything to do with. <laughs> and you see the horrible things people were writing on their status, and I'm like, oh my god, I thought this person had sense. sense. Oh, yeah. From there, I started knowing that this one is not really mm. upright. So look at everything. Like you said, it's not, you don't have to sit down and have that conversation of like exam, mm -hmm. tension. You don't mm -hmm. need it, but just being in between, you mm -hmm. already know. Mm -hmm. So I just want to appreciate Colapro for agreeing to record this episode with me like I'm so so grateful exactly. and um, also I just want to know what you what are your last words who want okay. what do you want to tell um, people listening and also there's still one last thing before you say that mm -hmm. you also tell us one thing that people don't know about you that I just want to throw out there that, oh. okay I know you don't know this about me and that okay I'll, I'll start from okay what what thing do you know about me I mean, there are plenty of, I mean, I, I sincerely cannot pick out something in my head off, off the top of my head right now. Mm -hmm. I'm a pretty open person, so I, I'm not hard to know. Um, okay. See, I'm the second of six kids, so. Okay. That is, that second one, second one too. <laughs> that yeah, much second one. <laughs> and um, the last remark, I would say a conclusion of everything I said. Love is not enough. It has never been enough, and it would never be enough. Yeah. Happy Valentine's Day to everyone. And also, like you can see, I'm wearing my time out with Prayed merch. So we have so many items to sell. We have our bucket cap, we have our cap, t shirt, hoodie, and many more items. Do send us a message on Instagram to purchase yours. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Time Out with Praise, to follow us on Twitter at Time Out with P. To follow us or send a request to us on Facebook, Time Out with Praise. And if you want to send an email to us, if you have maybe a sponsorship deal or you want us to have, to have you as a guest on our show, send us a mail at timeoutwithpraise at gmail.com. You guys are amazing. Thank you for staying all through to watch and listen to us do this. I love you guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.